Spinnaker has released a brand new dive watch GMT that has one, one huge problem. Yes, this watch has fantastic specs and it's great value, but there's something else you need to consider. If you love the look of the Spinnaker Bratner but wish it had more complications, then this is a watch you should definitely consider. In terms of value for money, Spinnaker's got you covered. The retail price of this Bratner GMT is $490. Not bad for the package you get. One thing I've always loved about Spinnaker watches are the quality, looks, and affordability of their watches. If you have never handled one, I highly encourage you to do so. Stick around so I can tell you a little bit more about the huge problem it has. Spinnaker watches know a thing or two about packaging. Their packaging and colorway on this box definitely put a smile on my face, and the watch came with a spring bar tool remover and an extra rubber strap. The entire watch is constructed of 316L stainless steel. The watch has 180 meters of water resistance and offers two signed crowns, a 6.5 millimeter screw down crown located at the four o'clock that you can interact with and change the time, GNT functions, and date. And at the two o'clock, a 6.5 millimeter crown that lets you interact with the bi-directional 24 hour bezel. I don't know about you, but the shape of that bezel really reminds me of a blank pun 50 fathoms. And this specific colorway is called the Night Shadow. And for obvious reasons, Spinnaker couldn't call it the Batman, as it does resemble the colorway on the Rolex GMT Batman, the black and the blue. Also, those raised numerals are very cool and look awesome with the distortions of that sapphire crystal. The entire case has a very utilitarian feel and look to it, that in part to the brush and satin surfaces. However, make no mistake, the case is finished very well and there are no rough edges. The dial, though black in appearance, does have a sunray finish to it, and in certain lights make the dial appear gray. Quick side note, if you're a photographer or videographer, you will have a hard time keeping the AR Sapphire Crystal dust free. It's a true dust magnet. These semi-skeletonized hands are very spinnaker, and the brush finishing on them play very well with the case finishing. All the markings on the dial, from the branding to the words GMT, automatic, and the water resistance rating, have different colors on them to match the GMT hand and the outer minute track. Very clever design choice by Spinnaker. I think the framing on the date window plays very well with the hands, and I appreciate that the color of the date wheel matches the color of the dial. The overall execution of the dial is pleasing to the eyes, but this watch still has one big problem. The loom on this watch is executed very well. We find it on the hands, indices, and bezel. Remember how raised those numerals on the bezel were? Yep, you guessed it, they're filled with loom and shine very bright. This execution really reminds me of the Tudor Black Bay Pro, but of course, at a fraction of the cost. Let's put it this way, the loom on this watch really rivals some of the Seiko models. When flipping the watch over, we find an exhibition case back, and the Seiko NH34 movement was modified with a custom Spinnaker logo. The NH34 is the same as what Seiko uses on their watches, the 4R34. This movement can be hand wound and features hacking. The caliber features 24 joules, 41 hours of power reserve, and beats at 21,600 BPH. Let's talk the GMT functionality. This GMT movement is called a collar GMT. The GMT hand can be operated independently from the main hour and minute hand. A collar GMT also allows the date to be adjusted in the same crown position that the GMT hand is in. Someone calling into different time zones would use a local slash home hand differently than a traveler GMT. The GMT hand would reflect where they're calling. The watch comes with a really nice solid link beats of rice 20 millimeter bracelet that features a quick release system, a mill sign clasp, and three micro adjustment holes to get that perfect fit. The biggest drawback with this bracelet is that the watch with this unsized bracelet weighs in at 163 grams and also the bracelet uses pins to size it. However, the bracelet is well constructed and articulates very nice while on the wrist. One big plus is that they included a very nice bright colored rubber strap. The company doesn't specify if the strap is made from FKM, but it sure feels supple. It comes with a signed buckle and it also features a quick release system. The fact that Spinnaker can sell this watch with these cool accessories for sub $500 is a true testament that the Swiss watch industry is definitely overcharging us for their watches. I think I made you wait long enough. Let's talk about the biggest problem this watch has. Look, this is a personal problem, and I think if your wrist measures similar to mine, 6 and 7 8 inches to be exact, then you may also see this as a big problem. So what is a big problem? Well, the size of the watch. The size of this watch is on the bigger side. How big? Well, the case measures in at 42 millimeters, from lug to lug, 50 millimeters, and the thickness, 15 millimeters. That's a little too big for me. 
Overall, I really think this watch was almost there and it definitely has some room for improvement for a version 2.0. But like I said throughout the video, the price is on point, the construction is great, but the dimensions are a no-go for me. Let me know what your thoughts are on this model and Spinnaker as a brand. Until next time, be safe out there and stay humble.